Hi, I'm Nicole Ellis. I'm a certified professional dog trainer. And today we're going to be comparing the Canine Fit Bone by Fit Paws and the Blue Nines Air Propel platform. So let's get started. I use both of these to keep my dogs active. We do a lot of hiking, dog sports, tricks, movie work together. And I use this both for my younger dog as well as my senior dog. So we'll start with the Fit Bone. Um, Fit Bone. This was overinflated as both of them are right now. Great things about it is that there's traction on both sides, depending on what I'm looking for. Um, and you can change the intensity of it based on if you overinflate it, underinflate it, or just have it normal and you can adjust that. Super rubbery, which is nice. Um, the bad thing about this texture is I put it against a blink and it all stuck to the sides. So not so good there. The other issue I have with this one is that if my dog's super excited and runs onto it when it's overinflated, I have seen it roll over. Not that often, but it has happened, which can lead to injury and other things, which we don't want to happen when we're doing fitness and rehab type performances. So really great though. My dogs can fully stand on it. Um, and we've used it lots and lots. Jumping over to the Blue Nine Air Propel, Similar to the fit bone, there's different surfaces on both sides. What I do love is that these are a little bit larger, the bumps, which are great neurostimulators for our dogs when they are doing rehab or even fitness. So love that about it. Um, a big difference to me is the shape is quite similar, is there are grid lines, you can see. This really precisely helps me see how square my dogs are standing. And if they're compensating a little bit, are they putting one paw more forward or backwards, which isn't something I can do with the fit bone. I'm just kind of estimating. Um, another big difference is it's a little bit more square shaped. And so this one's also overfilled up, but I have not seen it flip over at all because of this more square shape versus the rounded edges. Um, I tend to use this side more, but both sides are great. And similar to the fit bone, you can underinflate it, overinflate it, whatever fits your needs for the day. And another big difference is that it has these little sides and we can attach multiple of them together, even attach it to the climb that they use. So I love that. It helps me with a bunch of different fitness exercises. And I think overall, I'm able to do more. This also is a different sort of rubber than this one. I don't know what this one's made of. I do know this is UV stabilized, so we can do our training indoors or outdoors. but what I selfishly love is I've stored this in the same place as this one, and that wood color has not worn off onto this at all. Um, it's not as rubbery, but it's still quite grippy feeling. So overall, I definitely would, this is my go-to when I'm training. It's about $15 cheaper than the K9 Fit Bone at this moment. I don't know if that's gonna change at all. I'll have links to all the products below in case you wanna look at them yourselves. Thanks for tuning in.